Hi, everybody, and welcome to podcast number two of the Dash Investment Foundation. My name is Rod, and today with me here, I have my friend Haydn. Haydn, how are you? How are you, Rod? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Exciting news ahead. We have been going through a lot lately at the diff. And uh, today we actually here to show the network, the Dash network. How long does it take since the diff presents a proposal and receives the funds until we can make an announcement of a purchase of a, a business, a stocks, a company uh, having some equity. And for that, myself with my incredible graphic designs um abilities let's put it this way right Hayden? uh i yeah, came up yeah. with this little chart and there it is look at that beauty <laughs> great beautiful chart great beautiful chart all right everybody so this is a timeline for us to explain to the network how long it takes for us since we have someone presenting a business an opportunity uh, for the diff to invest until we can make a announcement uh, to the entire network and of course our social media partners. So uh, Haydn, step number one all the way on the top over here. Tell us who can present to the diff. Anybody, any business, any corporation, how does it work? So not anybody can present to the diff, but in general, if you have a good business plan um, that fits with our mission and goal to help uh, Dash uh, spread through uh, different use cases and different business models and, and, and whatnot with respect to to um, to Dash itself and expanding the ecosystem, then yeah, we can entertain, uh, bring the group of supervisors together to, to look through the project and see the term sheets and the terms of the investment. And then we go through uh, basically uh, assessing the business at, together at the diff. There yeah. we go. So Everybody, basically, we can invite a company or corporation to actually come and present it to us, or they can actually invite themselves as well. The, the email is open. It's got to be on the description of this video here. Uh, and once we do actually step number one, you know, someone presents to us their business model and how they make money and how good it will be uh, a Dash investment or a partnership, we move to step number two. And just to let you know, everybody, this one here, is actually the actual timeline of the investment that we started February 18th, actually the conversation on February 18th. It took uh, 15 weeks and this went through. We're just now about to organize the announcement. And this is actually for a $250,000. And the good news is, Hayden, actually some other investor came after us and double the valuation of our investment or the diff investment. So this has been actually very positive. So basically, once someone presents to us step number one, all the way on the top over here, we go to step number two, the diff, the supervisors will vote, right? For round number two. Yes. Should, we, yeah, yeah. should we move forward with this corporation, with this company? Yes or no? Do they have a, a good business model? Yes or no? Should we ask for more documentation? Yes or no? So once step number two is done, we move to step number three, which is the NDA. Haydn, tell us what is this NDA thing that we have to sign? So, so an NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. So basically, the one of the supervisors signs on behalf of the the, the entity, the network, the the diff structure, uh, for us to be able to see um, semi-private documentation within the company like revenue streams or, or, or income or, or whatnot, that, that's usually very, a private a private information. Um, so once we get that information, um, we sign the contract and we are able to look at all the all the, the private terms. Then you move on to the due diligence and the next uh, step of that uh, uh, structure or chart that you have. Of our beautiful chart, right? So everybody, yeah, which, yeah. this is important because, for example, once we do, we sign the NDA, the company gives us more complex, more detailed information of how the business is run, how much money they are making. What do we do? We have to actually ask for more documentation and we review shareholders agreement, contracts, location. There's a bunch of documentation and this takes time. The due diligence process, it's something very complicated especially in this case this is a company in brazil right i'm the only mm -hmm. uh, portuguese speaking in the team i'm assuming we haven't talked in portuguese yet Haida. maybe you're, you're hiding yeah, something yeah. In there i i used to fala fala muito uh, uh, i used to speak portuguese there we go <laughs> i used to speak portuguese right? 
So this is actually yeah, yeah. highly highly complex to understand the corporation, the company's documentation. So this is the process they, that takes time between three to five weeks. But now we actually we get announced as well. We decided to hire a law firm. It's a Brazilian law firm who's got a review and all those documentations. Make sure there's no funny business. There's no little trick on the verbiage once it's in Portuguese and then we do translation from English. So this is also another step that takes another one or two weeks to review all that. And then we go to step number four, which is the legal contract. And we decided to sign. But again, once they send us the contract, Haydn, what does happen once we have a contract and we agree on how much money the DIF is going to invest, how much or the percentage, the equity we got to get in return? What happens to this contract? So once we have a legal contract and it goes through the lawyers, then it all gets sent back to the directors in the Caymans. Uh, the Caymans directors sign off on the contract and they go through and uh, move to the next step, which is basically uh, do the payments through either wires through a, like a bank transfer or some of our investments or payments might be in Dash as well, which is something that we try to promote to, to basically have our partners get paid in Dash as well. So that's that's something that, that's very exciting. And I, I love that part of it is you're able to pay your lawyers or any part of an investment uh, in, in Dash as well in, in a lot of cases. Yeah, in the future will. And also in this particular case, uh, um, of course, in this first case, we had to do via bank wire, via money wire for the payment. That's when we move over here uh, to step number five, the payment, either wire mm -hmm. or paying directly with Dash. But in Brazil, the, 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 the way that the law works, it was not possible to do that. But this law firm that uh, uh, we're talking, we're actually very advanced conversations and we're about to hire, uh, they can actually guide us in a better way to speed up this process as well. Because sending money via a bank deposit or bank wire in Brazil requires you to actually get an authorization from the central bank close the contract in US dollars and then re-ice. And then you need a legal representative of the company to be present to sign a book. Uh, it's So each country is going to be different. Each location is going to be different. So it's essential for us to have some legal guidance in aspects like this. So in this case, we did via normal bank system, via wire. In the futures, we're studying the possibilities of paying them directly in Dash. Of course, the companies, they wanted to actually get paid directly in Dash, right? Uh, yeah, and, and especially if you do if you do it through the law firms, right? You can uh, basically enable the law firms to uh, get paid in Dash and become a partner in the ecosystem. So you can lawyers are the ones that find out about all the business deals. So if you get plugged in through the uh, get the the lawyers as hodlers, you're basically going to get plugged into the business community in whatever country you go into. There we go, and and just so here on the bottom, everybody, you can see you know from the first to the second week, or to from the the second to the third step to. Uh, another six weeks and then another four weeks and then another week. So this is a very slow process and uh, we're moving as fast as you can. And now we're about to make the announcement and we have to decide as well which is the best way to announcement. We don't want a conflict with another announcement uh, the Dash Press Room has ready. Uh, we have to check the company if it's the best week for them to make an announcement like this. So there's a whole strategic planning uh, regarding marketing and public relations behind that as well. But we are very glad to, um, to actually to say that we have two, two already uh, companies that we finish uh, uh, step number five, uh, signing contract and paying. We're just uh, planning now the announcements in the next week or so, uh, both of them in Brazil. And one of them, as we mentioned, uh, we already doubled the investment, right, Hayden? How, how did actually, it work? Actually, I think I, th I think it was two pro two two investments that we dubbed more than doubled. I think it was forex. It was forex. So one investment yeah. is in the U.S. In this one in Brazil, uh, yeah, uh, it was so. just double the one in the U.S. or in, 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 in this other location. Uh, actually, they had another round of investments, and their valuation went it went up. I think four and a half times of the initial investment. Yeah. So. Now it's I just, almost I, crypto returns within the equity sp the investment space. This is it's crazy. It's awesome. Excellent, everybody. I mean, you can see how how happy we are, and because the legal structure is there, the diff has huge advantage regarding uh, how we can actually uh, um, 
purchase or own equity on companies in the name of a network that nobody owns. I think that's the, the best thing ever. Uh, and also very important uh, for, for the network to understand that since they presented to us until the end the announcement, it's a process of uh, 15 to 16 weeks. But now with a law firm uh, uh, in place where they will do this legal be a lot faster, will be a they lot be, faster. Yeah, yeah. So you will see more announcements coming. So something that we started in February, we got to see the results now. And again, this is actually for, for the network to understand once the diff requested funds now, remember those funds might not be in use for the next three, four, five months because there's a line. And right now we have five companies as well, uh, five other companies, five other business, let's put this way, uh, among those uh, six steps over here that we're reviewing, uh, we're doing documentation, uh, a check, contracts, and all that. Hi, Dan, what else we have? And, and, I think, and, and I think also when, once all this stuff starts to spread, right, uh, and we start to get investments in different uh, spaces and interact with different law firms, this is, I think this is a model that we can expand. Uh, like we're still in the starting phase. Like we're trying to, we're getting into the law firm to have the law firm do all the due diligence and keep us in, in the business community loop within Brazil. Um, if this goes well, I think that we can expand this model to other countries. We find some of the best law firms in each country we go to, you put them on retainer and you keep the, the network in the business deal flow that's coming into these law firms, right? These, these lawyers are in the middle of basically all the big business deals, all the big venture capital. So if we can expand this and take it out to uh, Brazil is a great use case, right? It's, or it's a great test case. Once we get this going, and I, and I think it looks like it's going to be a great a great time to, to get going with this, um, I think we can start finding other countries where we can build the same kind of setup where we just contract with law firms and keep ourselves, have them be the scouts for all these deals. You we know, can't I wait, guess, everybody. I'm excited as hell. Yeah, I'm excited as hell, honestly. We can't wait, everybody. So stay tuned, everybody. Follow the Diff social media, uh, YouTube, Odyssey channel, as well, the Twitter for more information. And once again, my name is Rod with my co-host here. And I'll see you guys next week. Ciao for now.